Yeah, police department says there is now a second victim in Sunday's shooting that took place on Lafayette's south side. Police are still looking for a suspect. They say victims are being uncooperative and won't give out any information about who shot them. News 18's Alexis Moberger joins us live with more on how much harder it is making the investigation. Alexis. Jeff and Gina, behind me is the house where victims Clyde Grayer Jr. and Lucas Streeter were both shot. It happened at a house party early yesterday morning right here on Ekman Place. Now, most of the witnesses and the two victims are refusing to tell police any information about the shooter, making it hard for police to solve the case. A house party on Ekman Place in Lafayette turned violent quickly early Sunday morning. 24-year-old Clyde Grayer Jr. was shot twice in his torso and airlifted to an Indianapolis hospital. But it didn't end with Grayer. Monday morning, Lafayette police found another victim involved in the same shooting. 25-year-old Lucas Streeter was shot in his right leg, but checked himself into the ER several hours later. Talking 12, 14 hours later, showed up at the hospital with a gunshot wound. Grayer has been uncooperative with police and refuses to say who shot him. And most of the witnesses at the party are also refusing to help clue police in. What can happen is that victims don't cooperate because they're either afraid of retaliation if they give a statement. Sometimes they're afraid that maybe they've been involved in some criminal activity themselves or uh, they don't want to get somebody in trouble. Sergeant Scott Galloway says Streeter also hasn't given out much information to who the shooter could be. It's another shooting victim. It's another person that we have to get information from of what happened. It makes it harder when people don't come forward. He says when victims and witnesses don't cooperate, it's double the work for police, making it easier and easier for the person responsible to flee. All the evidence starts to dissipate the, the more time that gets between the event and when we find them. Galloway says there's been shootings like this in the past where they haven't had victims cooperate, but it did lead to arrests. Galloway is hopeful that there's enough evidence in and outside of this house to find the person responsible. Reporting in Lafayette Southside, Alexis Moberger, News 18. Alexis.